Hello everyone, Monkey Ness once again here. Back with this again, uh, surprisingly, I actually have more to show here. Um, I was lucky enough to talk to the main developers of this team, they're on screen right now, and their Twitters are linked in the description, and they were both nice enough to give me this uh, other test demo to show you guys, and show you guys a lot of the stuff in, as well as for me to see. This is a demo that actually doesn't have the restrictions on it that the other one I played did. So we are going to be able to actually view a lot more stuff in this version and I'm going to show it off to you guys. Okay, so here, uh, I believe her name is Lisa. It actually looks a lot more done. She's a bit, <laughs> bit short, but what are you doing? Oh, they got the camera zoom there. Mother 3 is slowly progressing along. For now, we've put together all the good bits and funny bits just for Space World. Okay, so this says the same thing. Okay, but that's fine. Oh. Maybe she's not done. <laughs> oh wow, you can actually talk to her. Space World is on today, so it's really noisy. You say that again. You, you, you can say that again. Still can't go in there. What about you? I think my dialogue in the actual game will go something like this. Be careful out there. Don't pick up and eat food from the ground. Ah, this classic Sonic catchphrase. Why does Pusher have like black voids for eyes? I like it. So it still doesn't look like any of these buildings we are able to go into yet. Oh, never mind. We can actually go, oh wow, We're like, it's like an early version of the end. That is really cool. I know this is very, very early, but it, it looks really good so far. And there's a present here, what is this? Good job, sending you back to Tasmanian Village. Well. Oh, okay, space bar kind of just jutted you forward in the other demo. This one, you actually have a jump. I was not expecting that. Let's see what is up here. Ooh. That's fun. Oh, goodness. Gotta be careful, kind of bumping into walls and stuff, and you just go phase right through. That. Oh, man. I was not expecting there to. Wait. The actual town, uh, sort of hub right in the center here actually looks really, uh, much more refined than previously. Oh, hi. I heard from a mother commercial that if you drop the M from mother, you're left with something other. But maybe you should leave the M and add a 3 instead. So I'm not honestly sure how they are so familiar with what that demo was like, but oh my goodness. Oh wow, okay, so here's something really cool. Uh, the pork bean is actually um, a lot further in development now, and this actually allows us to drive around in it, which is awesome. And uh, oh wow, it handles quite nicely though. Whoa, steering is a little tough because it has a bit of a drift to it. Just gotta get used to that. Oh wow, that feels really fun. But yes, I really do have to give a huge thanks to the top devs for allowing me to kind of give you guys like this exclusive look at uh, what this game's looking like a bit further down the road in terms of its development. And I love it. I think it looks great and I'm really excited to see what they do next. Whoa! Oh, wait a second. Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Never mind. Is there any way to get out of this? It doesn't look like there is. Nope. So the desert doesn't look like it has a whole new ton, ton of stuff uh, to look at that it didn't before, but uh, I wanted to check that out and I'm glad we were able to see the pork bean. Hi, save frog. Hey, there, there's something neat. They actually fixed the typo that was in the other one. That's, that's cute. And it even has a little smiley face. This whole area over here is a lot more cleaned up. There were a lot more weeds in the uh, Space World demo version, or at least the other one. Okay, this is exciting. We are actually going to get to go and travel this way now. So let's see what uh, the world of Mother 3 has to offer. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, this is so surreal. It feels very odd to be able to... Oh, my gosh, it's the crossroads. Oh, man, I I'm just... It's, it's bizarre even remotely kind of experiencing what this could have been like. Uh, because I'm just so used to only seeing the screenshot. Let's go this way first because I'm not sure if we can even go this way So might as well check it off the list and oh, that's a little weird a little wonky What do you have to say if you go past here? You'll get a scene of a dog running it won't make much sense here But I assure you it doesn't the full game. So don't go all who is this dog? Okay. Oh man, this dialogue's wonderful. So mm, Yep, looks like we don't have a dog running cutscene there yet ready for the demo, but that's that's not a big deal but yeah, in comparison to the previous demo, this one is about 20-ish percent more complete than that other one was. Uh, as I was told, that one was roughly sitting around 20% completion. So I'm really impressed at how much progress has been made in, frankly, a pretty short amount of time. And oh my goodness, here we are here now. 
this is one of the dungeons they're working on. I'm not sure if this is the snake dungeon or... Yeah, it must be the snake dungeon. So, nothing over here. Gosh, this is kind of... This makes me a little bit nervous. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. This is so bizarre. I've been seeing the pictures of this on the Twitter, and it's kind of interesting to actually be able to play it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much going on in terms of things over here yet. Yeah, looks like this is very, very rough. But uh, it's interesting to actually see the level geometry and everything actually sort of beginning to get an idea of how it's going to look. What's going on down here? Anything? Nope, just hor 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 horrifying things. You know, the way it's actually sitting right now, which it's funny because it's actually built on Zelda 64 hardware somewhat. Uh, I assume this takes me back to Tasmili. Yep. Oh, never mind. This is broken. Oh gosh, never mind. It's not. Wow, that was a roller coaster. Anyways, this did just kind of interest me because uh, it's built on Zelda 64 parts, and uh, it that moment in the dungeon kind of reminded me of when you're in the upside down clock tower in Majora's Mask. So there are cliff areas up here, but I don't. I doubt we can get up them, right? Yeah. That's. I wonder what's going to be up there if anything. Maybe they're just. Uh, Maybe, maybe they're just for show right now. Also, something I like is that they act, Flint's model looks much better in this version already. Like, some minor details, like just the shading and the eyes look like they have more work done on them, looks, in, looks very much, like, already starting to look much better than it was before. So, if you really are making some great progress here, guys. And, oh my gosh, this is the area I was the most excited to play. Oh my gosh, the forest. So I have no idea what this looks like in terms of completion, but uh, I am ecstatic to do this. Okay, so what do we got here? Bottle. <laughs> bottle with the flying mouse. No, I think it's just the... Yeah, no, it's a, it definitely says battle. I'm going to try to be careful with pulling a bunch of menus and stuff because I'm scared it'll get stuck again, but let's see. Nope, doesn't look like that works yet, but uh, Thunder still works. And Oh, wow, that animation looks great. I, I really love that flying mouse uh, this so this model's very much still in still being worked on but uh, I gotta say like the battle systems already looking much better than even just in the last version and there's not even like a ton new stuff coming out and the flying mouse became tame look at that one shot one shot guys I really love the atmosphere here the shading looks great um, something that I think could use a little work perhaps is uh, maybe brighten up the character models in this setting just due to the lighting making them a little bit difficult to tell where you are depending on the screen. I know it's a lot more visible on your guys' recording, but just on my regular lap, or uh, not my laptop, but my computer monitor that I'm using, it's a bit more difficult to tell where Flint is. Oh, this is an enemy. Oh my gosh, the Capybara. Oh my gosh, this is bizarre. I, oh wow, this feels weird. And also, this is a little uncanny valley, just nothing moving here, huh? So I am just going to kind of keep spamming thunder in these battles for the sake of... Wow! <laughs> these battles are a bit bare bones right now, and you know, there's a little bit of problems with the collision on the walls with the camera, but all stuff that I have no doubt is going to be very much improved upon and fixed in very uh, soon versions. I also... Oh, there are there is collision on this. That was that's a bit surprising to me. I was expecting to just go phase right through them. So there's a couple paths here. I'm gonna go to the right first because this looks like the branching path here. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, interest. Okay, I wasn't expecting you to be here, but okay, hello. So it looks like if you beat an enemy with thunder or some kind of magic attack, it gives you a bonus animation at the end because it keeps showing that at the end. Oh. Brought me right back here. Okay, so that must not be the correct way to go. All right, let's just head straight this time because it doesn't look like we can really make much headway the other way regardless because just because of difficulties with the camera at the moment. Oh man, there's actually another kind of branching path here. Let's uh, go around here first and check what's around here. Oh, we can actually go up here. That's nice. Sweet. Cool. Oh man, I just love the... I love the fog they have over this area um i understand it's for draw distance purposes but i think it's aesthetically it just adds a lot to this setting and it really captures uh the few screenshots we did see and uh concept art of this area looks awesome i think it's funny that the cat bars are just standing there it's a little bit unnerving <laughs> uh but i i do enjoy it completely unironically and oh my gosh we get to go through a big a big tree right here i hope we don't phase right through it i whoa okay <laughs> 
You know, I am very surprised how expansive this area is. It's much like the, uh, it reminds me of how the desert surprised me with how big it was. I'm, I'm just, I'm really impressed that there's uh, so much to actually see so far. Even though a lot of this, you know, isn't quite done being modeled or uh, textured, it still gives what I can only imagine is a pretty accurate idea of what the later versions are going to look like. Oh my gosh, there's even more over here. I was expecting that to loop back to the path we came in. Can I go through here? No. Uh, okay, well, this is a bit of a dead end. What happens if I go down here? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating just coming down here. Okay, I thought it was going to teleport me back. <laughs> but <laughs> Okay, so this is what we're doing now. We're um, just gonna adventure down here a little bit. I doubt there's much to see, but if that's the case, I'll just reset. Oh, you know what? I'm starting to second guess. I don't really know enough to say, but there's potential that this didn't teleport me back because this is actually planned to be somewhere to explore, like a lower level of the forest as opposed to like a bottomless pit like I first interpreted it to be. Yep, I am very much stuck. Okay, I'm gonna reset. The texturing on the roofs in Tasmili Village also looks great too. It's like, it's such an incredible improvement just from the last time looking at this. I wonder if there's anything new over here because there were just pig masks over here before, but I, oh, this just leads you here, but instead you don't, oh. Interesting, so this, this uh, going over there leads you to like a ruined version of this and now you're on foot. So this is like the destroyed pork bean, that is interesting. So there's more pork tanks over here now, which is interesting. Uh, is there anything I can do with this white one now? Because I know it wasn't, oh, so I thought this was a different version of the pork tank. It's just not textured. Okay, there's a lot of them over here though. And here's that, yep, thank you. There's that present I was looking for before. I don't know if there's just more in that area now or it was moved over there, but that's what I was looking for before. This area is already looking very promising though. And I can tell just that with more time, this is going to look very good. Uh, needs a little work on the roads because they're kind of bumps right now as opposed to just being, I don't know, I think it, I think it might be better off just being a regular textured sort of thing. But you know, it's their artistic vision, you know, it's their interpretation of those things. I'm also intrigued if there's any intended camera control here because I know some areas just don't give you the camera control. But I think even just a little bit of left to right movement could be very helpful to a player. And uh, there seems to be some sort of pig mask factory type thing going on. You know, I'm really surprised that the collision allowed for me to jump up here. Uh, this is fun, king of the world, man. So I'm not really sure there's all that much more to see. It looks like the world just kind of ends over here, but let's just follow along this and see what it, where it brings us. Something else I appreciate about this new Flint, or newer Flint at least, is that there are some subtle differences in his walk cycle and I think it already looks much better than it did in the last one. Oh, yep, that looks like that's the end of the road there. <laughs> I also very much like just the little differences in Flint's walk cycle. It has just a little bit more character, so, and uh, you know, again, just so many improvements with such little time since the last one was made. I'm still also just really intrigued by the jump button. That's something I've never, even contemplated being in a mother game, and uh, it's very bizarre to see it in action. Nonetheless, have control of it. Okay, over here looks like the end of the line. Looks like it's just a, a jump into the darkness. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> How Ben drowned of me. The last thing I want to mention about this version is it actually doesn't have to be played in full screen. The other version I played uh, forced me to be in full screen. This one actually does give you a windowed version, which is small, but a very nice feature, which I appreciate. Anyway, I think that is about it for this version of the demo. Thank you so much to the top two devs over at the Earthbound 64 Recreation Fan Project for allowing me to use this demo and to show you guys more of what they're doing. Also, idling animation, cute. You guys are doing a really great job and I can't wait to see where this project goes because you guys are already making some rapid progress. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.